Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for February 2021. I hope everyone's doing well. I do want to take a second to remind you that this is a general reading and therefore it may not resonate with everyone. Um, if not, please check your other signs and placements and see if those readings resonate with you a little bit better. Also, if you would like a personal one-to-one -one reading, um, go ahead and email me and I'll be happy to set that up for you. Um, keep in mind, Cancer, that this is a predictive reading, so while it may not be resonating today, in a week, two weeks, three, or even at the end of the month, you might look at it and say, oh my goodness, yes, it's, it's so. So um, I have placed it in a uh, playlist for you for February, so you can always access it, and that might make it a little easier as well. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do, Cancer, I'm going to pull... A, a general spread for you for February, and then I'll pull a money and finance spread and then a love spread for February, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Cancer? Cancer general for February. Cancer general for February. Money and finance for cancer. Money and finance career for cancer. And February, cancer and love. Cancer and love for February. Okay, so in love, um, Cancer, you got um, three out of four of your cards were major arcana. So you have some big changes happening in your love area in February. But we'll get to that in just a minute. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Autumn. Okay. So this is the underlying energy for you, Cancer. Um, the Ace of Autumn is actually a very nice card. It talks about a windfall of money. Um, or it could even be a windfall of advice or just assistance from others. But something um, that just is like all of a sudden, boom, and it's plenty of it. Um, it can also be a very successful project that you're you're working on, but it's a happy change. Um, and it, it could be like a stable beginning in love. It could even be um, a happy change in career, but it's definitely a, a very positive card. This is the underlying energy. So February, you know, the underlying energy looks very nice for you. So in your general reading, Cancer, you start out with a zebra card, and it's talking of letting go of your fear and know that you are safe and protected at all times. So I don't know if you're carrying some residual fear about some subject, but Spirit is guiding you to let go of your fear and to just basically trust in Spirit, know that you're guided and protected, all right? So in the general, you start out with the Eight of Summer in February. So this indicates to me that you're walking away from something in order to find something more meaningful. Um, there, what you're looking for is something that is you're passionate about. Now, what you may be walking away from is a purely physical connection with this Ace of Wands. You may have found yourself in a very passionate and purely physical connection of some sort, and you may be walking away from that. Um, or you could be walking towards that, you know. Um, let's clarify again and see what we get. It could also be a project or something because remember this is the general. Um, so we'll know more as we get into each specific category. But there is something here that, okay, yeah, so... So there's something here that, yeah, I would say you're walking away from this because 
you have um, clarifying the Ace of Wands, you have the Five of Pentacles. So there was a loss here concerned with this. So I feel as if there was either something that you were passionate about, a passionate project, or, you know, possibly a, a thought or an idea in business or something that you were very passionate about and you've decided it's not really going to serve your purpose or it might have been a connection that you were extremely passionate about, but you felt it was more physical versus um, love related. And so whatever this is, you're walking away from it in order to find something more meaningful, okay? Um, now you go, and this will happen in the beginning of February. And then you go into the seven of summer, which tells me that you do have options here, all right? And it's clarified with the Three of Swords in the reverse. So these options that you have um, are going to be somewhat healing for you. Um, I feel like there was something here that hurt you deeply. And, you know, you are not going to just sit around. You're, you're moving away from whatever it was. And this is going to allow you to have more options. Um, and you're going to be healing. Now, there is a... A caution here from spirit not to procrastinate because your power is in making decisions um, when you overanalyze things that that creates a lot of confusion and that's just going to cause problems for you so walking away from something that was more passionate more more purely physical and you know opening up all the options in the first part of February I do think that whatever those options are you are using your intuition um, because you do have the sun, and the sun is one of the happiest cards in the deck. I think that these options are going to make you very happy, and I think that, you know, things are going to work out very well for you sometime around the middle to, um, middle towards the third week of February. Um, I do think that you are going to be using your intuition. There is an indication here that you are highly intuitive and that you're going to be really leaning into that intuition as you make these decisions and that, you know, you'll, your plans and the thing, the decisions you're making are going to be successful. They're going to work out well. Um, I think that, you know, you're going to wind up pretty happy around the middle. And then towards the end of, you know, the end of February, you have the Nine of Autumn, which shows you basically on your own still. However, you are looking good, smelling good, and, you know, really bountiful in and of your own right. I think that you are happy and feeling successful. Um, some of you will have chosen to be self-employed, and if you are, I think you're being successful in that. Um, but basically, this is a, a time where you're going to feel like, you know, you are, you're on top of your game. So I think that you will be alone. I don't see you in connection with someone. Um, now, that might mean in relationship or it could be um, within business because some of you guys may be walking away from a partnership in a business, okay? Okay. So keep in mind, this is your general spread, and we'll know more as we dig deep into each area. But I do see that you are going to be feeling very successful, um, and I do feel like you're going to be managing your resources very wisely. Um, I don't think you're going to be like miserly, but I think you're going to be very careful with your resources, Cancer. I think you're going to be kind of holding on to th your, your money. I don't see you being, you know, like um, spending out out you know, like crazy. I, I think you're going to be managing your resources pretty wisely. All right. So now let's look at your career and your finance. The card you drew is walrus and it says to remain vigilant about the current situation. And I see you doing that. Okay. Um, it says pay attention to signs and omens and let them dictate your choices. And I will tell you, Cancer, that in your general um, spread up here, we do see that you're very intuitive and you are managing your resources wisely. So, so I do feel like that you will be heeding that advice, okay? Now, you do go into the month with the three of winter. So that indicates to me that there is something in the very beginning of February that um, has caused some pain in your your you know, work life or your 
your um, financial life. There's something that has been painful here. Um, some kind of loss, but it's, it's hurt you emotionally. So um, that sadness that you're experiencing, it is going to heal with time. I do think that it was somehow connected with a message that you received. Um, someone, um, and it may have been someone younger than you, um, because it's a page that delivered this message. And if it's not someone younger, it was delivered, the message was delivered immaturely, but whatever this was, it hurt you. And this would have been within your workplace, or it may have been something about finances, but I do see that that will either occur in the beginning of February or has already occurred. Um, but it'll heal, whatever this is, is going to heal, and you will find yourself stronger, um, you know, from the situation. So just be aware of that that if it has not happened, it will, okay? Um, it's going to affect you a little bit as far as your self-esteem as well, okay? So um, you go into about the middle of February, you have life experience, and so we see you kind of letting go of some belief systems that you not only um, are not, not serving you, you, you feel like they're working against you. So. There's an important life-changing event that is going to happen within, I would say the second to the second week to the middle of February. Um, it's going to lead to some significant opportunities for you, Cancer, but it also may cause you to kind of doubt your self-worth. And I feel like it, you may feel it's a little bit of a threat to your stability and to your growth. Um, so it's gonna, it's gonna cause you to have a lot of self-doubt. I do believe it will have something to do with whatever occurs from, from the, this beginning of the month, this, this message that you're receiving. So the first part of February might be a little bit rocky for you, but keep in mind that this is a life-changing experience and it, it is going to lead to some significant opportunities. All right. Um, you did have the two of summer, so there is some kind of an important um, partnership of some kind. You know, at the in the middle of the month, middle to um, yeah, I'd say around the middle of the month, middle to the third week, and this is going to be a very important connection. So it may be that you're partnering up with someone, or it may be that you are. Um, you know, it might just be so you find an ally within your workplace, um, but whatever this is, I do think that, you know, it's going to allow for, you know, the resolution of this problem. And it's going to, as it allows for the resolution of this problem, I do think it's going to um, kind of reseat you back into, you know, feeling more secure and feeling as if um, you're you're more secure within your financial um, your financial standing. I do see you focusing upon your work um, mid month to the end of of February more intently. Um, whatever this experience that you had in the first part of the month is going to be resolved. Now this person might be an Earth sign that you partner with, and if so. And it, when I say partner, it might just be an ally. It might be somebody who gives you advice, um, but this person is going to be instrumental in helping you to overcome whatever this problem is that has shaken you, okay? And so they, they might be an earth sign. They don't have to be, but they might be. And if so, that would be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Um, but if not, this person is going to definitely be someone who's good with their money and they will be a very solid, stable person. Um, I can see too that it's going to allow you to become a little bit more stable as well. And so, and it'll help you resolve whatever this problem is so that by the end of the month, you're coming out of this feeling successful. Um, also investing in to, um, into, back into either this position or back, or, or you might be investing in something new, but you will be investing in something. You're gonna be very patient about it, but 
I will tell you that regardless, you will come out of February feeling very successful about this situation. You're gonna get some good news. Um, the choices that you made um, throughout the month are gonna bring you rewards. And I think that you're gonna end the month feeling really good about everything that happened. So, all right, so let's move forward now. Um, for your love um, spread, we, you start out with rattlesnake. And it says the experiences that you present, you're presently going through are an initiation into fulfilling your purpose as a healer. And you know what, Cancer, that really goes right back to this high priestess um, in using your intuition. A lot of times relationships, especially um, love relationships, can open you up and they um, can create those changes within us that are needed in order to uh, um, affect change as a healer. So um, you start out the, the month with the chariot, major arcana. And so I do feel like you are going to be rather self-disciplined. Um, oh, have you blocked somebody? You may have blocked somebody or they may have blocked you. Um, there may not be communication with someone here that, that you do have feelings for. Um, but you're being very self-disciplined about it. You might be moving away from that person. Um, and if so, you, you're trying to do so in a very successful manner. Um, you also have, you know, the high priestess again, which tells me that you're definitely trusting your intuition. You're really thinking about things before you do them. And you're not being, which can lead to some procrastination, by the way. So be careful with that. Um, and what is it you're thinking about? Well, again, uh, you know, repeat card again, we have the Eight of Cups. So you started out with the Eight of Cups and using your intuition and down here. So now we know exactly what that's about. Um, and down here, you're using your intuition about walking away. So I see that you may have cut off communication um, and you may be moving away from or walking away from somebody because you are trusting your intuition. Your intuition is telling you that this person is not what's in your best interest, okay? Um, but you're definitely being very intuitive about it. Now, I do think that things by the middle of the month are going to turn in your favor. And we see that in your general spread as well because you have the sun in your general spread too. And so... By the middle of the month, you have the Wheel of Fortune, which tells me that, you know, basically the delays are over. You're going to have a sudden, unexpected good luck. And what kind? Well, you have the Page of Pentacles clarifying this. So it's going to be something, something small, but yet very tangible. Um, sometimes this can refer to travel with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, but with the Page of Pentacles, I... That is an offer of some kind, but it is um, small and it is very, um, it's very tangible. It's in the 3D. It's not, you know, smoke and shadows. It's something real. It's going to make you very happy because in your general, you have the sun. So, and it will come about because of the decisions that you've made um, after using the intuition. What decision? Well, the decision to walk away from something that wasn't serving you. Okay, so it's going to it's going to turn out really well for you as far as your love life goes. All right, and then you end the month with the five of winter, which tells me again that you are walking away from something that was dishonest. Um, something, yep, king of king of cups in the reverse. You're you're closing your your heart down to whatever this is. Now, this could be somebody who is a fellow water sign, but I, I really think this is you. Um, I think that you're shutting yourself off from whoever this person is that you're, you've been struggling with this decision. Um, yeah, you, you've kind of lost that loving feeling here. You're realizing that what you wanted um, isn't a good choice for you. And, and you're deciding it's just not worth the effort. There's some form of dishonesty that's involved with this connection. And so in walking away from it, I do feel that there's going to, you may have some sense of inner conflict, Cancer, 
but I do think that you are going to overcome that. This is going to work out well for you, though, because you will be single, and we see that in your general reading as well. But I also think that, you know, it's going to station you for, you know, a really good, um, stable, um, a very good stable um, standing so that the decisions that you make will bring in the love that you deserve because there's something dishonest about this connection. All right, and so at the bottom of the deck, you have the hanged man, which indicates to me that you may wait for a little bit. There is a season of waiting um, as you change your perspective and you look at things differently. Keep in mind, we saw three out of four of your cards in the love sector our major arcana and so this is a big deal this is not something small whatever it is that you are choosing to walk away from is huge it's not something to just sneeze at this isn't um like oh i met this guy and i just don't want to deal with it or i met this girl and you know she's not everything i want so i just decide no this is big this is big and you're really counting on spirit to to come in and, you know, you're releasing your fear, just like it says, you're releasing your fear and you're, you're trying to allow spirit to come in and protect and, and keep you safe. And, you know, you're trusting in spirit and it is going to work for you, Cancer, if you choose to do that, because when the wheel of fortune turns, it turns in your favor. So it's going to be sudden and unexpected. It's going to bring you a lot of happiness. We see that up here. Um, so I, I see it as very good, but it's going to be difficult for you as well. Um, it's not going to help that you're going to experience some difficulty in your work life, but keep in mind that you're going to come across somebody somewhere in the middle of the month that's going to, you know, help you with that situation. And you're going to end that also feeling pretty successful. So that's good. All right. So let's go ahead and pull a fortune cookie cancer and see what we get. Okay, it says planning. Now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. Very nice. Okay. So I, I do see you doing that. I see you being very careful um, and prudent about your, your choices with both your love life and your financial life. Um, I think this is a very nice reading, Cancer. So... All right, if you would, hit that like button for me. And also, um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And drop me a comment. I do read all your comments. Until I see you next time, Cancer. Namaste.